This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to create a website, head over to wix.com slash go slash infographics to try out one of their premium plans right now. In the English Oxford Dictionary, the definition of a phobia is an extreme or irrational fear or dislike of a specified thing or group. To the sufferer, a phobia can seem unbearable, sometimes even life-threatening, while to those on the outside, our reaction to the perceived threat can come across as irrational and over the top. These distressing emotions are initiated by fears of both real and imaginary situations. What are the phobias that people experience the most? That's what we'll be looking at today. In this episode of the Infographic Show, the top 10 most common phobias among Americans. Phobias are surprisingly common, but what exactly do people fear the most? And are there any phobias that tend to be more common than others? In May of 2017, Chapman University ran a survey of a random sample of 1,207 adults from across the United States. These test subjects were asked their level of anxiety about 80 different fears across all sorts of topics ranging from the government, the environment, crime, disasters, personal anxieties, technology, and many others. The university's objective was to do an in-depth examination into the fears of average Americans. The top results included corrupt government officials at 74.5%, American Healthcare Act slash Trump Care at 55.3%, pollution of oceans, rivers, and lakes at 53.1%, pollution of drinking water at 50.4%, and not having enough money for the future at 50.2%. But these are fears, and a phobia is really another level of fear. It's the kind of fear that puts you on edge, makes your palms sweat, and can even make you anxious and sick. According to the American Psychiatric Association, phobias are the most common psychiatric illness reported by women and the second most common reported by men. The National Institute of Mental Health suggests that phobias affect approximately 19.2 million US adults. So what are these common phobias that people seek treatment for? Here's our top 10 countdown. Number 10, arachnophobia. Very few people love spiders, but then there are some who are absolutely frightened stiff by them. It's a common fear known as arachnophobia. The sight of a spider can trigger a fear response, and some people are even spooked by a simple image or just the thought of a spider. Phobias are rarely rational, and that's certainly the case when it comes to arachnophobia, as there are an estimated 35,000 different spider species, but only around a dozen that can harm humans. Back in the 1990s, Walt Disney Studios made light of this phobia in their horror comedy film, Arachnophobia. The film's story centered on a Venezuelan spider being transported to a small American town that produces a new species of deadly spiders, which begin killing the town's residents one by one, a film that's certain to frighten any arachnophobes away from the cinemas. Number 9, Ophidiophobia. Ophidiophobia is the fear of snakes, and again, this is a common fear. It's likely this fear may have nothing to do with having been in contact with snakes, as in a study of 35 snake fearful participants, researchers found that only three of those taking part had ever been bitten by one. So maybe it's simply the look of a snake that freaks some people out, rather than any past experience of having been in contact with the reptilian slitherer. Other studies have shown that snakes tend to provoke a disgust response, which might also explain why a phobia of snakes is so common, yet people don't tend to have similar phobias of dangerous animals such as lions or bears. Number 8, Aerophobia. Aerophobia is the fear of flying and it affects an estimated 8 million adults in America. That's despite the fact that airplane accidents are very uncommon. People who suffer from a fear of flying may tremble or experience a rapid heartbeat and feel disoriented. And it can happen to anyone. In 2017, Aslan Gagiev, a Russian crime boss who was accused of murdering 60 people, was removed from an aircraft at Vienna Airport, which was supposed to bring him to Moscow to face trial. Jasko's defense lawyer provided a certificate stating that he had a rare form of aerophobia, which developed during his stay in an Austrian prison and which could kill him during the flight to Russia. We can't find cases of people dying from this phobia, so perhaps this was a tactic to keep Zako away from Russia. But it looks like Austrian police did get him on a plane just recently to face trial in his home country. And even if you don't happen to suffer the phobia, around one in every three people still have some level of fear of flying. Number 7, Sinophobia. Can people be so scared of dogs that they have a phobia? It seems so, and it's called sinophobia, and it is often associated with specific personal experience such as being bitten by a dog during childhood. If this happens, then a person can grow up with the memory of the trauma triggering a phobia in later life. 
Therapy can definitely help with this one. Though we're looking at Americans, we found an interesting story from across the ocean. Australian media outlet ABC reported on Dilly Ruska in 2017. Ruska had been scared of dogs since she was four years old. She would get panic attacks, start shivering, and as she grew older, she avoided visiting friends who had dogs. So Ruska sought the help of Sydney psychologist and ex-dog trainer Anthony Berrick. According to Beric, the condition is more common than expected, with studies in the US reporting 5% of people having a fear of dogs. Beric spends up to 10 therapy sessions with a patient, training the brain to unlearn the fear. The fear is treated gradually in a controlled environment where the client has control over their relationship with the dog. It took Ruska six weeks to gather the courage to sit and pat a dog independently. A big step in the right direction, thanks to therapy. Number six, astrophobia. Astrophobia is a fear of thunder and lightning. A person with astrophobia will feel anxious during a thunderstorm even though they understand that the threat to them is minimal. Symptoms include trembling, panicking, crying, sweating, nausea, rapid heartbeat, and the sudden feeling of using the bathroom. People with this phobia also tend to become very preoccupied with the weather. They may spend a lot of time each day looking at online weather sites or apps so they can work out when the next storm might take place. If this is your phobia, then it might be time to move to a country where storms are rare. And we just mentioned dogs. Well, as it happens, many dogs could be considered to suffer from astrophobia. It's not unusual to see a dog bolt under the table or hide behind the nearest door during a lightning storm. Number five, trypanophobia. Trypanophobia is the fear of injections, a condition that can sometimes cause people to avoid medical treatments and doctors altogether. When people with this phobia do have to have an injection, they may experience feelings of extreme dread and elevated heart rate leading up to the procedure. But no need to fear, as a solution may be coming. Ronnie Therapeutics' slogan is no more painful injections, and they're well on their way to fulfilling their promise with the planned Ronnie pill. The Silicon Valley startup is developing a robotic pill which is swallowed by the patient just like an ordinary tablet. But the capsule is actually a smart device which can transport a drug past the stomach acid to the small intestine where it breaks down and releases a very small inflatable object which then injects a fine needle into the intestinal wall to release the payload. So the vaccination is delivered without stress or discomfort and afterwards the device is naturally flushed out of the body. Number four, social anxiety disorder. We all love a good party and to catch up with friends, right? Not always, it seems, as some of us suffer from social anxiety disorder. This is the fear of social situations that involve interactions with other people. People with this phobia may find even ordinary, everyday tasks such as eating a meal can be anxiety-provoking if others are in the room with them. According to nonprofit website socialphobia.org, social anxiety disorder is the third largest mental health care problem in the world today. The latest U.S. government epidemiological data show social anxiety affects about 7% of the population at any given time. The chances of developing social anxiety disorder at any time during your life is slightly above 13%. The American Psychiatric Association reports that social phobias often develop during puberty and can last throughout life unless they are treated. The most common form of social phobia is a fear of public speaking, and it can affect even the most confident of us. Businessman and entrepreneur Richard Branson has suffered from this fear for years, and he even ran away from a presentation he was asked to give at the school he used to attend. Number three, agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is another type of anxiety disorder in which you fear places or situations that might cause you to panic and make you feel trapped or helpless. You fear an actual or anticipated situation, such as using public transportation, being in open or enclosed spaces, standing in line, or being in a crowd. Approximately one third of people with panic disorder develop agoraphobia, and symptoms include fear of leaving home alone, crowds or waiting in line, enclosed spaces such as movie theaters, elevators, or small stores, open spaces such as parking lots, bridges, or malls, and using public transportation such as a bus, plane, or train. Most people who have agoraphobia develop it after having one or more panic attacks, causing them to worry about having another attack and avoid the places where it may happen again. The American Psychiatric Association reports that the condition is more common across the female population, with two-thirds of registered cases of agoraphobia being women. Number two, mysophobia. Mysophobia is the excessive fear of germs and dirt and can lead people to engage in extreme cleaning, compulsive hand washing, and avoiding situations or places perceived as dirty. In some instances, this phobia may be related to another mental condition known as obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. Dr. William Alexander Hammond coined the term mysophobia in 1879 to describe one of his patients who would constantly wash his hands, but it is also known by a number of different names, including verminophobia, germophobia, basilophobia, and bacteriophobia. 
It's another common phobia and has been known to affect a number of celebrities. Actress Charlize Theron has revealed that her fear of germs keeps her up at night. She told Mail Online, I have to be incredibly tidy and organized or it messes with my mind and switches off on me. I will lie in bed and not be able to sleep because I'll say to myself, I think I saw something in that cabinet that just shouldn't be there. Other celebrities that have confessed to being obsessive about cleaning include David Beckham, Madonna, and Cameron Diaz. And finally, number one, acrophobia. Acrophobia is the fear of heights and it impacts an estimated 23 million adults. People who have this fear often get anxiety attacks when in high places such as bridges, towers, or tall buildings. Sometimes this fear can manifest as the result of a traumatic past experience. British newspaper The Independent published an article about a virtual reality study where 100 volunteers with a fear of heights were guided around a 10-story building with a large open atrium in the center. They were gradually encouraged to lean over the edge and rescue a cat or cross a rope bridge. In real life, these volunteers had struggled to approach balconies or take escalators for years, but the VR study has some dramatic results. After the VR treatment, Dick, a retired paramedic whose severe fear has bothered him his entire life, was able to relax looking over a shopping center balcony, something he said would have been impossible before. Acrophobia is the most commonly reported phobia, with one in five people saying they have some fear of heights and 5% of the population being clinically diagnosed. And while you're at it, you should also research who is the best website builder and platform. We're positive the answer you'll find is Wix. Wix is a professional and robust platform for creating, managing, and hosting your website. With Wix, you'll never have to worry if your website is safe and secure. Plus, Wix offers you true creative freedom when designing your website. If you want to build a UFO sighting website, Wix has a solution for you. If you want to start a UFO fan club, Wix has a solution for you as well. Create an amazing website, and support the infographic show at the same time by going to wix.com slash go slash infographics or clicking the link in the description. So that's our list of the top 10 most common phobias among Americans. Do you suffer from any of these phobias or maybe another one that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Why Are We Afraid of Friday the 13th and the number 13 in general. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.